Hi everybody, Bucky Buck here. Welcome back to the deer hunting episode of the Timmy T Show. Now here's the big buck man himself, Timmy T. Alright Bucky, thank you so much. We're going to do a little deer hunting song for you and we hope you enjoy it. It goes like this here. Driving down the backwoods, Tennessee Byway. One arm on the wheel, holding my spotlight with the other. Looking for something with antlers to kill. I hunted hard all week. I'm desperate for deer meat. Tennessee Saturday night I feel much better if I knew the warden was home in his bed tonight what do you think Bucky? Timmy T are you singing a song about poaching deer? Yeah, Bucky, I'm just being a little funny today, you know. I just want to say for the record, I do not condone poaching deer. I have never poached a deer using artificial light. I have never harvested a deer by a moving vehicle. I have never harvested a deer by shooting from a rope. That line it. And by the way, what the heck do you have on, a bulletproof vest? Yeah, that's because Junior's sitting on that bar stool with that 30-30 starting to scare me. You got a point there. Why don't you just point that 30-30 about that way there, Junior? Uh, I'd feel a whole lot better. Alright. Timmy T, I wrote a song about my deer hunting experiences. I would like to sing. All right, Buggy, let me get dude in here. You ready? You have heard all the songs about Timmy's hunting trips. The Benton County deer slaughter and the big buck man was hit. All them stories put to song, that's all just fine. Sit right back in your chair, it's time to tell you mine. Ain't be no deer hunters if it wasn't for us pups. No camo wearing, coffee drinking, gun toting up. They show up here every fall in their pickup trucks. Ain't be no deer hunters if it wasn't for us pups. I could smell him three miles away. Take a whiff of that. Oh. Smells like last night's deer camp chili starting to get to hell. I'm going to wait till he's about to fall asleep, then I'm going to run by real fast. season. Now, you know muzzle loading season is always there at the 1st of January. It's always cold and nasty out. You know that night before opening day we must have got about six inches of snow. 
I got up about four o'clock in the morning. I was gonna hop in my truck and go outside the edge of town there at my tree stand. Well, I went out there and that old snow had frozen to the ground. It was windy and cold. And I went out there and I sat for about a half hour. That tree was just going And I uh, man, there ain't nobody can hunt in this kind of weather. So I'm going back to the house. So I got down out of that tree, got in the truck, drove back home. Well, it was still dark out. Well, I went in the house and got undressed. I thought, I'm just going to slip back in bed. So I went up to the bedroom and got in the bed, snuggled up next to my wife where I knew it'd be warm. She says, it's cold out there, isn't it? And I said, uh-huh. She said, can you believe my stupid husband's out hunting in this? I swear, that's what happened. All right, we're gonna get on out here. We're gonna finish my song. White tail buck deer, munching on clover. Not anymore. I told you, Timmy T.